Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with a wearable purple smoky eye for you guys. I thought that this would be something fun to create because I am using purples and I'm using lighter purples that I think are more appropriate for the summer. If you're looking for a little more of a glam look, then this is the perfect look for you. You can definitely go more natural with this, but of course I had to go all glam and do the lashes and the wing liner and all of that. If you want to see how I got this wearable purple smoky eye, then please keep watching. So first things first, I went in and primed the skin, and then I went in with my new Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation and my Real Techniques brush, and this is in the color Bare Natural. It's number seven, and I just dotted that on my face. This was with two drops of the foundation, and I blended that all into my skin very well. And then I did go back in with two extra drops just to give a little bit more coverage to cover up some of the redness and hyperpigmentation in my skin, and went ahead and buffed that all into the skin as well. Then I went in with my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, which did not want to work for me, uh, but I did get it to work, and I'm going in with the Brightener and Illuminator shade to go ahead and highlight the areas that I want to bring out on my skin, and I'm using my all-time favorite brush, the Sigma Tapered Kabuki Brush to blend that in under my eyes, and then going back in with my Real Techniques brush and blending in the rest of that highlight shade. Using my e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder, I just went ahead and set that concealer under my eyes. And then I used my Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder to set the foundation on the rest of my face. Then going in with Max Paint Pot in Painterly, I went ahead and primed my lids. Then going in with this beautiful shade by New Blissful Cosmetics. It is a cream eyeshadow in the color Runway. It is a beautiful iridescent purple color. I am obsessed. So I'm putting this all over my lid and then I'm going to go in with Makeup Geek's Beaches and Cream and I'm going to use that in my crease just as a transition shade. And here I'm just continuing to blend to make sure that there is a perfect transition. And then I'm going in with Makeup Geek Wisteria. And this is a beautiful purple shade. I'm popping that all over the lid with a shader brush. I believe this is by e.l.f. Cosmetics. Then I'm going in with an Outer V brush by Makeup Geek along with Drama Queen by Makeup Geek. This is a beautiful deep purple eyeshadow color and it complements Wisteria so well. I love these two combinations together. It just creates a beautiful purple smoky eye which is exactly what I was going for today. And if you noticed, I do have brows on now. I will link my brow tutorial down uh, in the comment box below if you would like to check out how I do my brows. Then I'm also taking Drama Queen and dragging that along the lower lash line and kind of marrying that with the uh, outer V of the eye. Then I'm going in with Milani's black eyeliner and I'm popping that into my waterline and this is where we are really going to smoke it out. I'm just using a short dense brush to really smoke out that lower lash line with that eyeshadow. I'm using Max Shroom to highlight underneath of the brow and also in the inner corner of the eye. Then going in with my Inglot number 77 black gel liner and my angled eyeliner brush by Makeup Geek. I am lining my lash line and this is the best brush in the world. I absolutely love this for eyeliner. It makes it super simple to get a winged liner. And of course you could totally skip the wing if you're going for a more natural look, which is totally fine. Then I'm taking some more of that color Drama Queen and I'm going ahead and deepening the crease of my eye just to make it a little more dramatic and of course blending 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 that's what I do most of my life is blend 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 
Then I'm going to coat my lashes with Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. And I'm also popping on some lashes in Red Cherry number 43. Then I'm using my Bahama Mama by The Balm to just warm up my skin. I'm not doing a whole lot of contouring. I am just simply just adding some warmth to the skin all around my hairline and around the jawline. Then going in with Max Posey Cream Blush, I'm just using a sponge to just tap that into my cheeks on the apples of the cheeks and just using that to kind of blend out the blush. Then with my NYX Crystal Liquid Liner in Rose Pink, I'm just popping that onto the inner corner just to add a little bit of pizzazz to the look. And no look is complete without a little bit of highlighting, so I'm using my new What's Up by Benefit highlighter. I'm just popping that onto the highest points of my cheek, down the nose, and just a little bit on the cupid's bow. And then I'm going to use a large stippling brush to blend everything in. Then my favorite part of the look, which is the lips, and this is by New Blissful Cosmetics, and it's their lip gloss in the color Remake. It's number 140, and I will have a 20% off coupon for all of my viewers, so that's very exciting. And then just lightly lining the lips with my MAC pencil in the color Dervish to add a little bit of depth. And then I decided my cheeks were not rosy enough, so I decided to use my The Balm in Stain Long Wearing Powder Blush in the color Lace. And there you have it, folks. That is the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Okay, guys, that is it for my wearable purple smoky eye. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you decide to recreate this look, please hashtag me on Instagram at the glam bell and follow me on my other social media sites, which will be linked in the down bar below. I am almost at 500 subscribers, which makes me scream for joy. Thank you so much for your love and support. Please stay tuned for more fun videos. And until next time, peace out.